Lot of you see Glenn and Annette, Adeline, Irene. Catherine. Thelma. <coughs> you brace across the table, still coughing. Okay. That's what we have so far. I'm sure more will be joining us. I better turn on my light here. <laughs> okay. All right. Today we are going to continue with a hunky dory um, magazine that we started last week. I have all kinds of interesting things in this box. Okay. We finished the purple flowers last week. And this week, we're going to work on those daisies with the butterflies and the burlap. So that's what we're going to do this week. Okay. Sort things out a little bit here so I can see what I've got. I just want to remind you that not only do you have two wonderful packets of paper in this kit, you also get the butterfly dies. One butterfly and two flowers. You get the very pretty embossing folder that we used last week. Hi, Brenda. And you get a nice set of stamps. Sentiment stamps. Really nicely done ones. <clears throat> okay. I have a few remnants left from last week. I'll keep them handy in case it looks like we could use them for something on this. And we'll go through the papers here momentarily. <laughs> we had lots of remnants left from last week. So here we go. Let me show you. No, um, come in closer, honey, and let's do the coppers. Let me show you what we've got to work with here. Here's our first topper sheet. It's beautiful. Those butterflies. The burlap bags and the wicker basket with the butterflies. We've got two really nice corners on this cardstock sheet. And which one's foiled? Neither one. That's interesting. Oh, that's because there's two unfoiled and two foiled cardstocks. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It'll probably be our first sheet we do with this one. We have this beautiful bag in the corner. We have these double-sided papers that are fun. We get this burlap background and the butterflies. Got yellow daisies on this one and a daisy gingham. And then we've got four insert pages. I'm going to keep this one out. I'm going to keep this one out. I'm going to keep this one out. And I actually think this was part of the other kit, but we do have this really nice green on the other side of it, so we'll keep with this. All righty then. Let's. Take a look at what we can do. I think we'll start with this one, obviously, since I kept it out. <laughs> my cards have an ink all over them from my last inking venture. One of these inks is going to be in the back, so I don't care about that. <laughs> How is Bryce doing? How is Bryce doing, honey? Hanging in there. He's hanging in there. He actually is better than he was. I can tell you he's better than he was because he's rotating a little bit more than he was. But this is this thing has kicked his butt. For sure. So. Yeah. And Dad, it was, it's been really, really hard on Dad, too. In fact, we are seeing that Dad lost a lot of progress cognitively 
when he was down with this cold bug. And that's forcing us to make more decisions concerning his care. We don't know for sure what we're going to do yet. We thought we'd give it another week to see how much he comes back. But physically, he's coming back. He's not coughing and things like he was, but he's just not home. <laughs> if you know what I mean. He's drifting, and it's harder to handle him. So we're going to go through his normal schedule as we have it today for a full week and see if, if he makes any changes or improvements, and then we'll have to decide what we're going to do. I'm going to cover this card in this burlap. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and cover it lengthwise, because if I wanted to make as many as four cards, I would need an extra bit that you get by using one-fourth of this. I think Debbie's heart says she loves us. That is true, Thelma. Debbie's heart does say she loves you. On your shirt. Yes. Some of my favorite people are on the stream. Oh, my cutter got moved last night onto the table. Can you grab it, please? The card class in here last night, we were doing the fourth of four sets of Butterfly Bloom. We had a full house last night. It was really fun to have all our chairs filled. I really liked the shirt when I saw it with the black and white and red in the hearts. Just spoke to me. Said, That's the kind of thing I like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this image off the corner. I'm going to cut this image to be three and seven eighths inches wide. By five and five eighths inches long, which is a quarter of an inch smaller than my. Just a quarter of an inch smaller than my card, which is the European A6, and it's four and a quarter, actually about four and an eighth, but they fall right in between there, and by five and seven eighths. Look how pretty that looks in that background. That just looks great. Love that. Okay. I'll go ahead and... I wish I could use jute because look like little jute bows would look so very cute on these on these cards. But jute and I just don't get along at all. Like I told you, it's really kind of funny because I taught classes every day in the seventies when jute was so popular. Did just fine with it, but not anymore. I can't be around this stuff. I had somebody who. We have what we call table time on a lot of Sundays where people just bring whatever they're working on. And they come in and we work from, we people time to go to church in the morning, of course, but we work from two to six. And you just bring anything you want to bring and you visit with your friends while you craft at table time. And one of our ladies was making our own scratching posts. So she brought jute and a piece of wood and was wrapping her post and gluing it in class. I thought I was going to die. After that, I set a rule. Bring anything you want except jute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and insert this just because I'm thinking about it. Get my tape out here. Oh. 
I did can't talk to Roberta. I don't think so. It says thanks for telling us about Roberta. No. My friends, I messaged Roberta and she replied. She sends all of love to everyone. She sent me a quick message, too, that said, have you seen the new papers coming out from G45? You be sure you order those. <laughs> they are beautiful. <laughs> I had them on my radar already, but uh, Roberta's making sure I don't drop the ball on anything. <laughs> okay. I have a funny story about burlap. Let's hear it. I do love a good story. Yeah, it was gorgeous. I love that summer collection with the watermelon. That's beautiful. Okay. I have lots of little toppers this time. And... I just want to decide what I'd like to use. There's lots of nice ones. This is especially for you. Have a beautiful day. This is maybe about the right size. Let's see about this one with the brown. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. Let's just put that on there. I got lots of little pieces in one of these kits. I mean, I don't know. I set out foam squares. I think that's what I hit the floor a minute ago. And I think they're no longer in reach, so we'll get some out of my box down here. <laughs> Drink the water. It's story time. <laughs> I love you too, Catherine. I really love the people in this group. Okay. Let's see here. I was looking for foam squares. So, we had company over last night. And we were up until 1.30, maybe. <laughs> and then I never go to sleep very fast. So I don't know what time I actually got to sleep. But I wasn't wanting to get up today. It's just a good thing I love you guys. <laughs> I made myself get out of bed. Okay, it's a very simple little card, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It's just so pretty. I think we may need some stickles on some of these. They're very kind of simple looking without the stickles, but it will make them look much more elaborate. Okay, and I know there's another piece here. I might want to do a gatefold card with this one. I always love it when they give me borders on two sides. That would be great fun. Let's do a five by seven gatefold. <laughs> okay. So to make a gatefold card, I'm going to use a spare piece of cardboard or uh, I know cardstock. Hi, Sharma. <laughs> I just got out of bed. Well, oh, you're right with me, Sharma. I got out of bed and came to class today. <laughs> I mean, it was really kind of a do not pass, go do not collect $200 thing. I just got out of bed and came out here. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, garfish. Now, I don't know. Garfish, garfish, inedible turquoise, huh? I 
Okay, I'm cutting a piece of five by seven. You don't absolutely have to do this, but I like to do it because I'm using a pre-scored card. And to get my gatefold, I'm going to fold this side into my score line. Let's see if I can actually see my score line. It doesn't even matter if I pre-fold my card so I can see my score line. Right, but this one, huh? Hey, Kim. Long snout and teeth. Ooh. Long snout and teeth. I didn't get that folded 100% straight, so I'm straightening that out a little bit. Then when I fold my other side, I'm going to fold it right up to the line of my first fold. Okay, and I end up with it as I fold right to the to my um, fold line, right to where I was before. Then I end up with a perfect gate fold on my card. Then I'm going to take this five by seven piece I cut. I might have to cut it in just a tad. Sometimes if it's exactly five by seven, it you know it's fitting inside of there. So sometimes it has to be trimmed up just a tiny bit to fit. And I'm going to put this piece on the inside of my card to cover up that fold line. And there we go. So I'm going to glue this in place. If I wanted to, I could cover this while I had it out. Um, don't know what I want to cover it with yet, though. So I think I'll just go ahead and glue it in. <laughs> okay. Boy, I got ink on everything the other day. I sure did like the way our third card turned out, though. And thank you guys for all your nice comments after class. Made me feel better. I never like it when I make things in class that don't turn out great. But you know, it happens to all of us. And I'm kind of, in a way, <laughs> I don't know. I'm too selfish to be glad it happens. But in a way, I'm kind of glad that I can illustrate it happens to me, too. <laughs> because otherwise I'm afraid that you guys would be hard on yourselves saying, how come they always turn out for Debbie? Well, they don't always turn out for Debbie. Sometimes Debbie gets the same kinds of things going that everybody else gets. And we work with it. Okay, each of my flaps is going to be two and a half inches long or two and a half inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my cardstock be two and a half inches. Cut the other side to two and a half inches while I'm at it. I'm just flipping my cardstock over to get to the opposite side. And I'm going to make this and seven inches long. Put that right to seven. <laughs> I do love that technique, though, and I hope you guys will try that, even though I had a couple of well, I did have a couple fails. The first one turned out pretty good. The second one I wasn't as pleased with. But the third one, boy, I love that. That was beautiful. Okay, we're going to put these flaps on our card. I'm loving this. This is going to be beautiful. That's going to be beautiful, isn't it? Hi, Elsie. Good to see you, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and put these down onto my card. And here's some beautiful toppers we can choose from. <laughs> you guys are quite charitable about it when I do it. 
That's a good thing. <laughs> I know you're not an alien. <laughs> no, I'm not an alien. That's funny. <laughs> Definitely not an alien. <laughs> Gonna leave the middle part. I'm, I'm leaving the pattern kind of to the outside in my gatefold because I love this pretty butterfly border and I don't want that to get covered up by my panel pieces on the front. And once again, I butt the two of those right up together and glue it on so I have a nice tight fold on my gatefold. That's pretty with the white lace down it, isn't that? I like that. I have a very interesting leftover piece we'll figure out what to do with. Now, do we want this big oval? Or do we want this circle? I'm gonna punch those out so I can see a little bit more about what they look like. Oh, that actually looks quite attractive. Let's see how much more of our butterfly we'll see with the other one. We do get to see a lot more of our butterflies with this one, so I think I'm going to go with the smaller one. And as you have seen before, well, we're going to do something a little bit different this time, actually. This is a little bit more delicate card than most of the ones that I make. But it does have a, a fun and interesting closure on it this way. I usually don't leave little pieces sticking out. But I make an exception for this card when I make it. Oh, you got the hunky-dory unicorns, Kim. Good for you. <laughs> Margie's nine-year-old granddaughter that lives with her she's raising loves 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 unicorns and <laughs> i got a little darn it debbie message from margie as she was purchasing one of each from the collection <laughs> okay i'm going to separate all three pieces kind of hold them up here I think I'll start by just putting this outside rim down. Now I'm only going to glue half of this because I don't want to glue my card shut. So I'm only going to glue half of it. And I might have to open it up and wipe up any excess glue I manage to get on there like that right there. Get my wet wipe. Hunky dory, adorable, scorable, makes it very easy. To clean up any extra that you end up with. And I usually have a dry cloth here to wipe down any excess. Maybe wipe. Okay, so I'm putting my circle on like that. Oops. And then I'm going to put this ring on the other side. I'm only going to glue half the ring. Like I said, this is a more delicate card than most of the cards that I make. But it does have a fun closure on it that I enjoy. I glued that ring right inside the other. And 
clean off any excess glue on that ring or the card. We don't want to glue a card shut. Now one kind of pops right inside the other for creating our closure. This is going to be a delicate card because this little ring isn't very heavy. And I'm going to put this topper in the center. And once again, I can put it on foam squares if I want to. Or I can glue it down to my card, whichever I prefer. I think I'll go ahead and just glue it down. I'm only putting glue on half. I know you guys have seen this technique before, but just for the benefit of anybody who had not seen it, I'm walking you through step by step. And let's open it up again. See that ring goes right around the center topper. And it goes right through between the two. So it's a more delicate card because of this ring, but it really does have a fun closure on it. You can slide that right through and your card will stay closed. Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. Okay. I need another fun sentiment. I'm going to open this up and we'll decorate the inside too, because why not? We can, because we can. Best wishes, happy birthday. Well, I think I like that happy birthday right there. Let's put that on a little hole. Let me figure out again what I did with it. There it is. I lose that phone every single time. <laughs> had I not done this if you really don't want to have these lighter pieces then the other thing I would have done with this would have been to build this up on a background so I didn't have any floppy bits hanging over the edge Let's go ahead and put happy birthday there. I'm tempted to put something at the bottom too. I actually do have a fair amount of room there. I've got this butterfly. Uh, yeah, the butterflies are even bigger, so. Well, I think I do like that, so I'm going to put it there. We have all kinds of small pieces with this one. So it's a good way to use a couple of them. I'm going to open it up. Let's decorate the middle. I have this piece left over from the other kit, which I think would be a really nice addition to this. I could put it clear across. That might be fun. I do think I'll go ahead and cut it, though. I'll put it in in pieces. Two and a half inch piece to go on this flap. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of sacrifice a little bit of my general disdain for floppy bits to make this card, but I do think that closure is fun. Put that side. Let's 
got another one that's five inches wide. Well, here it might have to be trimmed just to add. Actually, it doesn't seem like it wants to be. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Had I known for sure what it was going to put on the inside, I could have put this in before I glued down this piece of cardstock. But I didn't know for sure what it was going to put on the inside yet. I've got right up against that first piece here. Match that up nicely. And cut these extras off. I got it. I want you guys to know it's kind of hard for me to glue down this purple side. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. I really like it too. <laughs> I saw it and it spoke to me. The catalog. Okay, I'm going to cut this last piece two and a half inches. I'm pretty much using up this whole double side of paper, but. Why have it if we're not going to use it right? Move this down. of glue is you can move that. Hold that up a little bit when I put the extra piece in the middle. All right. Next, let's find a topper we like for the inside. I like this. The flowers for friends. I'd choose you and pick you. Let's put that on the inside. Just curious what this would look like. It's too purple, I think. I don't think I can quite get away with it. I don't know, though. It's actually kind of pretty. Doesn't have any purple on the outside. But I think I still like it. I'm going to use that. <laughs> you have some floppy bits, so do I, Sharma. So do I. <laughs> You're funny, friend. I like that in there. Put a little thing in the middle of it. We have our second card finished. There's our inside. Isn't that pretty? We have our neat little closure with that floppy ring. Which I'm trying to do upside down and it's not working real well. Put our outside. That looks great. That was fun, number two. All right. Let's see what we want to do next. I have this one punched out. I also have this wider piece. I cut into it a little bit, but I think I can disguise that.
I'm trying to write that as. I don't think it's as much as five inches. But it might be. Wow, it's really close. I could do I could do a white border around it. We'd we'd make it. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and use that piece on here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. This is actually four and three quarters wide, so it's perfect to be a card with a border. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I'm going to cut it at the second cut line. I accidentally went over a little bit when I was cutting my last piece. This one I'm just going to... Sometimes you can take a piece of tape from the back. <laughs> you take a piece from the a tape from the back and help seal anything that gets kind of nipped into. You can't even see that now. If I turn it at just an angle, you can see it, but you won't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. I'm going to take this piece that I just cut off. I'm going to put it at the bottom. I can put that on so that it fits perfectly. I'm going to take a tiny little piece off of here. And I'm going to glue this here. I will have a little overlap line there. That's fine. Because look how wide this topper is. It's going to cover those lines. That's pretty. <laughs> and a run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some things I don't do. Running's at the top of the list. <laughs> I just took that extra bit out of the middle. We're going to cover this card so we have just a little bit of weight around the outside. <laughs> that looks beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and Take the pieces of this one apart. If anybody from Hunky Dory is listening in, we have noticed that the die cutting on these last few card sets we've gotten hasn't been quite as thorough it's a little more difficult to take our pieces apart so if you're watching you might pass that word on them if you would but like them cut just a little bit more again like normal I'd rather they were falling out of the sheet than to tear them up trying to split the pieces 
I'm going to cut my, my bigger foam square, so I'm going to cut my squares in half because I'm going to put my outer frame up on this ring, and I don't want any little pieces showing. Probably could have been cut even a little bit more. I think it'll work. Just have to watch for anything I might need to trim. <laughs> We've heard the old saying about putting an eye out when we're running. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working with the stamp platform out here Thursday night and I did notice when I was working that somehow I had lost a magnet I found it Thursday night when I went to take my watch off it was wrapped up in my watch band <laughs> I have a metal watch band the magnet was stuck to my watch band. <laughs> All right. Those magnets on the stamp platform are really, really strong. <laughs> yeah, me too, Annette. You guys saw the mess I made of the ink. One of you mentioned that I had to ink up my arm. We went in the other night. I had to ink everywhere. <laughs> and just a sign of a happy crafter. Yeah, where's our friend Mary today? Mary T. Yeah, we haven't seen Mary T for a couple weeks, have we? Where is Mary T hiding out? Maybe she's on vacation. I'm going to think good thoughts that she's on vacation. Okay. I'll go ahead and stick my frame down. I'm going to take this little gold piece. <laughs> oh, those little Todd and Do stickers are, they are really menaces. <laughs> okay. Once again, I'm going to take my ink bottle and I'm going to put a little round, oops, a little round of ink in here as opposed to as opposed to putting the glue on this piece and trying to put it in it helps control the overflow of the glue a little bit they say ink i was thinking ink but meaning glue and i still had a little bit of slop over but i'll that's nothing to clean that up. Baby wipe, dry cloth, all gone. Okay, now I'm going to put some foam squares on my centerpiece. So I'm just going to end up with a really a nice dimensional image in here by putting the outside on foam squares, the inside on foam squares, and the ring in the middle flush to the card. Hey, there's Glenn. 
<laughs> well, that would be a sight to behold, Glenn. <laughs> That's pretty. Let's see if we want a little greeting of some sort on this one. The best wishes. That's a nice one. For someone special actually fairly big, but I do like them. Thanks a bunch. Especially for you. Let's just do a I'm gonna do the best wishes right up here on the edge. And let's see if we have a, an insert in there, a bunch of inserts that will match this. That's my thoughts. There we go. Here's some inserts. I'm going to put these butterflies on the inside of this one. And as I usually do when I'm being lazy, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> tape this insert on one edge. <laughs> the breeding bracelets, you know, I haven't done that. I need Katie to show me how. She's probably an expert at that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Gonna put my butterflies down inside. Close my card. And take my scissors and go right around the edge. And we have a thing of beauty. Look here. Isn't that great? That's beautiful. That's three cards today so far. Okay. And two more inserts. We'll make sure to put those to good use. Let's see. What else we've got to work with here? Ooh, look at this beautiful corner. Thinking that corner would be fun. I could make a DL card, but this is quite a bit of extra space to... <laughs> quite a bit of extra space to deal with. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in this conversation, Thelma. <laughs> now the question is, do I want it to go out to the edges or not? Let's see what else we have, a double-sided paper. These are beautiful. I think I'm just going to let this have a white border. Because the white looks really pretty with the soft yellow, doesn't it? 
I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut this to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. That's beautiful. So pretty with all that foiling on it. <clears throat> all right. And they have this nice for someone special. Let's see what else we've got. They did give us quite a few little toppers here. Thanks a bunch. Actually, I think I like thanks a bunch. Very simple little card, but beautiful. <clears throat> well, the conversation started, Glenn, with us talking about older women running. And I'll let you figure that out from there. <laughs> Yeah, ask your mom. <laughs> okay. Now, this would be really pretty. I don't have some out here, but this would be really pretty to add a couple of my little birdie flowers around that tag, wouldn't it? Just be pretty. And I think I'm going to insert this and I'm going to leave it alone because it's quite pretty the way it is. I want to use these butterflies and they're on the wrong side. I could cut this by hand or I could do what I usually do. Yes, I'll lose my family reading here soon. <laughs> I just put it in, trimmed around it, and I'll take it out and put it in the right way. That's the fourth card. We have two more here. Then we have some nice pieces here. I'd have to find a way to use. I think I'd like to do a square card for one of these. Have a square card up here. Nope, that's a European A6. Keep forgetting about these deck alleged ones. They'd be great for 
some of these that I'm Oops. I do have a DL here and I have a mini DL and see what I would like to do next. All right. I'm looking at these pieces thinking this would be a really pretty DL card with those two smaller pieces. Well, I guess I have one small, one bigger piece and two smaller pieces. I'm going to put those on here. <coughs> I think I'm going to do a mini DL rather than a full DL. My little mini DL is like three and a half by six inches. I'm going to go ahead and use this border I have. I love these little mini DLs. I've used so many of them since we got them in. They're really fun. We have them available in the store. And they're perfect when you want a smaller piece to work with. Face my card like I always do. Just put it on there and flip it over and cut around the back. Now, which punch shots do I want to use? I basically have three of them here. Just have to figure out how best to use them. I have one. Two, and three. Now I could go to the big outside, the two larger ones, use the smaller one in the middle and put a bow under it. Or I could go with the oval in the center, and even though these are slightly different sizes, just pretend I don't notice that. We go here. It's actually quite pretty. If I want to dress this a little bit more, I can take this border <coughs> out of our topper sheet. to snip these borders out. And if I want to, I can add a little more foiling to this by putting this border on my card, the scent with love. And I do like the way that kind of draws everything together. I think that's quite pretty adding the foiling there. I think we'll go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on this border. I found that my hunky-dory tape is <coughs> my hunky-dory tape is just the right width to do these borders. And actually, if I want to retain a piece of border, all I really have to do is cut this back border here. What else might be pretty? Just want to look and see. What happens if we add this piece of yellow instead of the words? I actually like that. I'm going to do that instead. 
I'm going to save this one for a different card. And I'm going to take this little tear-off piece that was actually part of our junk. See that? It's got that pretty foil edge on it. I'm going to put that foil edge on my card. I often do this. I really like to use these extra foil pieces. I really like the... Um, the white lace along the edge of this, so I'm not going to cover up my white lace. I'm just going to bring that gold border right down to my white lace to really kind of draw attention to that lace. That looks pretty. And that way, you heading out, Catherine. Thanks for stopping in to visit with us, friend. We always enjoy it when you do. I'm going to put these two other toppers on here. Another thing to, that would have been good to use for this if I was wanting something to just kind of accent this card a little bit would have been to just use a piece of yellow ribbon. Okay, let's see. My phone's ringing. It could be. Nope, it's not. Never mind. I was going to say it could be um, a home care place telling us they had somebody for us for tonight, but that didn't go. The, it wasn't that. Home instead. I'm going to turn this moth just a little bit. It's kind of at an angle because it'd be pretty. I'm going to turn this butterfly just a little bit the same way. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to turn this one just a little bit as if it's lighting on the edge of a leaf. And I'll pop this one up in the middle. <laughs> okay. I think that's quite pretty. Let's see what our little border did for that. This is our little throwaway border. Bring that foil into the background. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm not going to insert this one because one insert I have left is tall, taller than my card. It might be fun to insert this, however, with a pretty piece of this yellow. I think that would be fun. Let's just do that. Insert it with my double-sided paper. <coughs> Sorry about my <clears throat> clearing my throat. Like I said, pollen's still flying. You have probably a good two-week run of the pollen once it starts, and then it starts to ease up a little bit. So another week or two, I'll be <clears throat> back to just my normal frogginess. <laughs> This would be a really good card for a gift card. Uh, 
We have one, two, three, four, five cards done. And then an hour, that's pretty good. Let's see what we've got left to do here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We still have these two nice corners here. This would be beautiful with one of those. A smaller piece here. Would be beautiful with one of those corners. Um, butterflies flying right side up is always good. Now, I don't know if I want to do this with an A6 or if I want to do it with a 5x5. Five five. I'm just going to hold this up over the top of my cardstock and see what I think. <clears throat> Hi, Mark. It's good to see you, friend. We love you, Mom. It actually looks pretty good. Let's I do it this way. That's going to go right to the top of my card. I think it'd be pretty, though. It also would look really good on a 5x5 five five card. Okay, I'm not finding square cards right here, but I do have a 5x7 five right here, which means I can quickly have a 5x5. Five five. I have envelopes to match all the sizes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put that on there. That looks great on that corner. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, thanks for stopping in, Adeline. I got to have a quick swig of meal. <clears throat> Okay. Put this on the corner. Face our card quickly, like we usually do. We'll trim this out. I need a six by six card, honey. Um, we had some last night, but that uh, Mary found. I don't know if she's got a stack of them sitting over there somewhere. We were short a card last night. This would be another one that, that would just be really fun with some yellow flowers. I did this. I like that. I go that way. Here's a little smaller sentiment. Might be good. No, I think I like the one I had. I like that. 
just like that. Flowers out here. Yes, the three little birdies would be here. The little birdies. Flowers would be fabulous. Yeah, I like it this way a lot. I think it's pretty. And uh, <clears throat> we tend to think about always centering things, but sometimes off center is way better. Bryce is trying to find me some 6x6 six six cards. <clears throat> I'd love to use a 6x6 six six on some of these bigger pieces here that we have coming up. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We've got two toppers left. And I've got one corner and an extra card left here, which will be beautiful. I found a six by six in, in craft. I can use that for one of them. Okay. This craft would be pretty for one. Actually, I collect that a lot. Okay. I just need to thank you, honey. Need to decide where we're going to put this. Around this yellow, I really especially like that craft color. I'm going to cut myself a piece of this cardstock with the brown with this piece too. Hard to decide which one to use. I think I like this side better. But I really like this dark brown too. Might use the dark brown inside. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Nice, nice. I like that on the brown. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and put this down. I don't know why I didn't think of the craft before. Just had to look up and see it to be reminded of how pretty it'd be. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. Yikes. It's a long time to be sick, friend. I'm going to keep this. I like that brown border. I think we might be able to do some fun with that. <coughs> and 
This has some, well, they both have nice brown on them. This would be really pretty. I take my layers apart. We do. I should just say a general prayer for the group, Glenn. I agree. <coughs> Grayson, I could use a little too, because over the course of the next week or so, we'll be making some decisions concerning Bob's continuing care, and we sure could use some guidance. So, <coughs> I'd like that too, if you could do that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Is that something they're going to have to do surgery for, Kim? Would you consider putting some water in the coffee maker and starting it? So we get some coffee when we're done here. Okay, oh, that looks beautiful. Taking the outside, gluing it down flush, and taking the inside ring and turning it at an angle. <coughs> and then we're going to put the butterfly in the center. Oh, gosh, Brenda. We just really have some illness going on in our group. right in the middle. I like that, especially for you at the top there. We're down to one top or left. I like that brown part on this. Let's get one more foam square and we'll put that especially for you there. I might open it from the top. Let's go ahead and insert this with our last insert paper. That would be nice here. And if the insert doesn't fall in an area that makes it easy to cut, I'm just going to stick it in there any old direction. <coughs> cut around it. And then I'll straighten it out the right direction. And tape it in. But 
<clears throat> these are white inserts. They don't have anything besides just the pattern in the corner. I wish they did, because we'd have enough to do all of our cards if they did. But they didn't give us full color inserts. We have one card left. Wowzer, I can't believe we're done already. <laughs> um, let's see what we want to use with it. I have this pretty piece of cardstock left. And it actually goes beautifully with that. So let's... Let's open this one. So I think we got... What did we get? Seven cards last week? And I think we're going to get seven cards this week. So it'll be 14 cards from this one pack of, from this one kit, the um, box set, Hunky Dory box set. Which is pretty darn good, I think. And in addition to that, we also got the beautiful embossing folder. And we got the stamps, and we got the dice, and the magazine. So we scored on this one. Let's see. I might want to do this again. I kind of like to do this to illustrate how you can do this with different shapes of cards. So let's go to let's get this 6x6 six six that very stuck out for us. Huh? Oh, okay. Let's get that one out. And we'll go ahead and cover our card. I really did love that one we did on brown. In fact, it might be really nice to do any extra cards you want to do out of this set on that brown cardstock, guys. This is going to be a, a this is going to be a six by six. I traded because I decided I wanted to show you what would happen if we put this one, the center ring on this one, at an angle too, just for a little different look. And we'll compare them instead of. Um, putting it at 90 degrees, I'm going to move it to, it'll be at 180 degrees, the inside of this one. Well, I just I messed that up a little bit. Let's see. If I actually have, a, <laughs> I found another roll of craft style tape in my mess. And so that one let me lift it off. I do not recommend lifting your cardstock off after you put your tape down unless you happen to have a roll of that craft style tape, which is a little more forgiving than our hunky-dory tape is. And I, can you say, where did, can I get that craft style tape? We can't, unfortunately. We are sold out. And I'm on my last roll here in the shop. Hey, good night, Elsie. Good night, Elsie. It's think, nice of you to stop and see us, friend. We always enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this topper down like so. I didn't refund it, just see what would happen if I went the other way. Don't like that. Have to try it. <laughs> Sometimes we just have to try. I have lots of silk frame greeting cards, Glenn. Um, quite a few. We are getting more slim each time we do them. We're selling more of them out. Eventually, we'll run out. But I still have lots of gold, lots of blue, 
I think I still have some silver. I believe the pink and the green are gone. I love what you've done with them. That looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna run the I'm gonna run this frame the opposite direction. I think we have quite a few of the blue left. I don't know how many of the white we have. But you're sure doing some fun creative stuff with them. Um, your letter came in with your samples of paper. I gave it to Margie to have her look and see what we have that might help you. Get that quite even. There we go. That looks better. Sliding it back and forth until I get it on there just right. <laughs> This may have looked better with a simpler background, but it's the background I had left. It's really been fun to see what people do with those. I've had people paint on them. Glenn's putting flowers on the outside and on the inside of the cards. It's just beautiful. Um, I've had people make like wedding anniversary cards and put an old wedding picture in the center and then a little memorabilia in with it. I've had people put a house key in there when they're sending a, a card to somebody who's purchasing a house. There's just a million things you can do with those silk crime greeting cards. Here's our last one. We're all out of extra embellishments and things, but I do think we'll go to the end side and maybe put, we still have this beautiful daisy paper. I put a piece of this daisy paper and a border in here because we have this beautiful brown border left too, which I kind of hate to waste. So let's see what we can do with this. Maybe that's going to look good. Let's do that. Uh, there's a couple tutorials out there on Silk Creek Greeting Cards, Kim. You can go to, uh, one of them I think is in videos. It's very old. But you can go to the videos section, and that's way back. And then I did one more recently that will be in live stream. And you can use the little search function to look up silk frame. Actually, I think they might be called framed silk. But frame silk or silk frame. <laughs> Try both in the search function and it should pull those videos up for you. We now have over 700 videos out on YouTube. Get that as straight as I would like. What am I going to do about that? Um, put 
this across the bottom. And I think I'm going to put a little trim strip here because I didn't get it as close to the fold as I wanted it. But we have this. We actually have a pretty little trim strip left on this border. So. Just going to touch up a little bit. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, I'm going to put this trim strip down the side to make up for my miscalculation in the cut of my paper. I'm going to put the other border going across the bottom. I'd rather have the brown on the outside. So I'm manipulating that a little bit. Take off my extra glue. Okay, with our extra pieces, we've been able to do a nice insert on the inside. Looks pretty, doesn't it? There we go. Let's take a look at our creations here. Clean my mess out of the way a little bit. I still have a few nice pieces of paper left that I can use with other projects. Even after making all these cards this week. Can you find the purple cards there on the table? Let me show them what we made last week so you can see the whole experience. Here's one. Two. Little DL card. Thanks a bunch. Three. Isn't it the blue one? Yeah, I think so. Uh, four. Oh, I should have been showing you the inside since these are all inserted. Two. This one's, yeah, this is inserted. We put the paper in. Three. Four. Our fancy closure card is five. The ring slips right out. Open it. Six. Seven. There's eight today. Love this one. Eight. Okay, so we have eight from today. Here's the ones we did last week out of this same kit. One, two, here's our glossy accents on that jar. <laughs> here's one we did using our embossing folder. Three, four, one of our decal edge cards here. Five. Six, a beautiful white litter card. Seven, eight, we did nine last week. Nine. And we, again, we put our glossy accents on our jar. Looks so cute. Is that nine again? I think it was. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then today's 17 cards 
all we, uh, I put in a few embellishments. I brought in this butterfly and a bow here and there. I used mostly regular cards, but we also did the um, glitter cards. And then in addition to those things, we still have lots of nice paper left. We've got the beautiful Hunky Dory magazine to go to. And they have, always have some fun tips that, for different things to try. So we've got the beautiful magazine. We've got, I said, quite a bit of nice paper left. I have a whole stack of very usable pieces left. And then we get the stamps, which have just really nice size greetings with them. I love the way they did the block letters above and the script below. I think that's very pretty. It's a nice effect. A pretty embossing folder. This would be beautiful if I put ink on the inside of my embossing folder. Just tapped it on there, closed it, and embossed, pushing that ink into the into the design that'd be very very pretty and we get our dies this is still available can you look up the link for that for diane it's an amazing kit i think it's 22 dollars, which is a steal <laughs> and you have like i said 17 cards done out of it extra supplies dies stamps embossing folder and the magazine. Uh, uh, there it is. $21.99. Well, I'm putting a link in for you, Diane. And for anybody else who might like to get this one, it's a beautiful one. If you're watching this video much later, it may be gone, but at this point we still have them available. So help yourself to get one of those. It's a beautiful kit. If you haven't already given a thumbs up, please give a thumbs up. It makes me feel good and it lets YouTube know that you guys recommend our channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a thing we're up to. We have fun every time we get together. And finally, we're going to sign off here shortly. And when we do, just hit that refresh button and tell us what you liked about today's class. I would love to read those comments, and I answer all those comments. So please leave us a comment, which is also good for our YouTube rating. I will be back on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern Time for What's New Wednesday. Thank you, Annette. Appreciate that. And you guys take it easy. I'm going to send some prayers up for this group in general. It just sounds like there's an awful lot of health issues going on in this group. So we're going to send some prayers up for the whole group. If there are no questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom, I'm going to go ahead and say good night, Gracie.